Welcome to our if function series, but we are not doing if function today, we are doing ifs function in this tutorial. So this is the example we're using today. If you haven't watched our nested if, we use this same example for our nested if, as you can see here. So please go watch the tutorial on the nested if and decide if you want to stick with the nested if or you want to stick with the ifs. So it's a um, school grading system, as you can see here. So according to the school grading system, say 70 and above should be A, 60 to 69B, 50 to 59C, 40 to 49D, 39 and below fail. So today we are using if, so let's get started, equal to ifs. So our logic test one is this. So we are starting with the first grading system, which is 70 and above. So if L3 is greater or equal to 70. So just look at, um, let's move, let's move to the formula bar to make it easier. So if L3 is greater or equal to 70, what is the value if, if true? Our value if true is A here. So because A is a text, is an alphabet, we're going to enclose that. And the next logic test is the second grading system, 60 to 69. So if L3 is greater or equal to value if true, B. And the next logic, logic 3, is this third grading system. Third grading system says if L3 is greater or equal to 50, impute C. Remember, it is text, so always enclose your text. And we move on to the fourth grading system. So if L3 is greater or equal to 40, impute D. So D is a text, we close that. And the last one, if it's below 39, fill. So instead of just texting, you can just copy this and paste it and change here to less than Remember, fail is a tax. So that's all. So we've completed, we had value logic tests and results. So let's close our brackets. So let's confirm if our ifs um, result is going to give us the same thing we got in the nested if. Tap enter. And so to fill, just double click here, and that is it. So, so you can decide which one you want to use. If you want to, you go with the nested if. This is the nested if. If you want to go with the nested if, or if you want to go with the ifs uh, function. So whichever one you want to go for, you're good to go. So if you have any question, drop it in the comment section. I'll do all to respond to you. And if you need to go over this again, please do. See you in my next tutorial. Peace out. Bye.